We bring in former National Transportation Safety Board Chairman James Hall joining us now on the phone. Uh, James, give us your gut reaction to the news that two years ago, a pilot was instant messaging to somebody else at Boeing about how the safety system, this MCAS, was a disaster and was extremely hard to control back then. Well, this is just a bullet to the heart of our regulatory system that has served the traveling public so well. And uh, I, I applaud the FAA administrator's uh, action, but I would urge him to go to Chicago, uh, to Boeing, and demand that any documents related to the MCAS be made available to the FAA for immediate review. Because it is obvious that uh, documents have have been withheld, and there has not been transparency as pertains to the safety of that aircraft. You know, it is extremely disturbing, and uh, as the FAA put it, disappointing. But they are demanding immediate documents and an answer as to why. Uh, they're just now hearing about these instant messages, and we can put some of them up on the screen because in case people miss the top of the show, this is from a chief technical pilot who was simulating this MCAS so-called safety system. And, and for our viewers who don't know, it was a sensor system, and if it senses that the plane is going into... Uh, if it, it senses there's a problem that the plane is stalling, it pushes the nose down. Um, but if it misreads that, which apparently it did in both cases of the deadly crashes, that becomes a huge problem. And the pilot said, it's running rampant in the sim, meaning the simulator. Granted, I suck at flying, but even this was egregious. Again, the New York Times uh, obtaining this. I mean, a part of us wants to be a little angry at, at the pilot for not getting this out there, but who knows, maybe he did tell management. What's your best guess here? Well, I don't know, but it's on two levels. It's a criminal matter, obviously. Uh, there's been a tremendous loss of life uh, because that same MCAS system went crazy on two other flights with passengers, not in the simulator. And on the civil aviation level, uh, there needs to be fines and penalties, and uh, Congress, along with the FAA, need to restructure the relationship and the certification of uh, uh, aircraft and the oversight of, uh, of airlines. Before we go, uh, uh, you just said a criminal matter. Oh, if it's proven that the CEO knew about these instant messages, do you think that he could face uh, any kind of criminal accusations here? Well, I would leave that to the criminal authorities. I have worked on the other side, but obviously uh, we've had a loss of life here, and what people knew when, when they knew it is obviously very significant and something the criminal investigation is going to look at. James Hall. Former NTSB chairman, thank you for joining us on the phone at very short notice.